this is Ratrone and just outside Clonmel. Uh, basically milking 85 cows, uh, complete autumn calf and herd. Made the switch from split calf and there about six years ago. It's 10 week breeding season, uh, start the 25th of August, finish around the first, second week of November. The cows performed well on the lactation sustainer. It was, it was a situation where this time last year, we ran into a grass uh, deficit uh, where cover per cow ran down to 135 and uh, to try and avoid buffer feeding with silage. I introduced the sustainer there. We put it in at about four kilos per cow for about eight days until uh, grass covers came back up again and growth you know, resumed. So yeah, I was happy enough with it, with the product. Needed something with a little bit more protein and it seemed to work well. It kept yield, which is what I wanted to do. It was late lactation cows at that stage and it kept milk in the cows, which is valuable milk at that stage of the year, you know. In the middle of June, let's say grass covers were, were, were dropping and uh, we weren't getting rain at the time. Growth was slow, we dropped down to mid to late 30s and we just introduced their um, meal there up to three kilos at that stage. It was only for a week. We got the rain a couple of days later. Recovery was fairly quick at that stage of the year. So um, yeah, it was only a short term thing, but it worked very well. Held yield, solid seemed to have held pretty well. So yeah, it's been good. So cows have um, gone past their peak yield. So this means that they should be on a gradual decline in terms of their milk volume. So reducing no more than two to two and a half percent per week or no greater than 10% per month. Easy way of monitoring this would be checking your milk bulk tank uh, volumes on a weekly basis. So if your milk is declining greater than two and a half percent per week, this means that the cows are getting an insufficient amount of energy or dry matter intake. So the two uh, key things is maintaining good quality grass and sufficient amounts of it, and then using concentrates to balance your grass. It's important to keep walking your farm to measure the amount of grass availability and the quality of your grass. So if you're with the recent rainfall, grass growth should increase. So if this has significantly increased or exceeding demand, um, you should take this opportunity to correct grass quality by taking out surplus grass or poor quality paddocks as high quality bales that can be used later in lactation. If grass is in short supply, it's important that the dry matter intake and energy gap is bridged with increased uh, concentrated supplementation. So typically a cow has a dry matter intake between 18 and 20 kgs of dry matter. If the gap is greater than six kgs in terms of concentrates, then you need to be introducing either a high quality buffer forage, such as high DMD grass silage or graze your silage ground. It's also important to keep in consideration your grass quality when um, trying to balance your grass with concentrate supplementation. So at this time of year, uh, the milk potential of grass has been 20 and 22 kgs of milk. So you need to know your milk potential of your grass, but also your yield of your cow and type of cow. So if she is producing more than the milk potential of the grass, you need to fill this gap with concentrate feeding. So Gain Lactation Sustainer is a 15% nut that is specifically formulated with bypass starch and digestible fiber, which helps maintain milk yields and milk solids while also maintaining good fertility and pregnancy maintenance. But it also has feed additive called agalin. And this has proven recently in research in the grass-based system to improve your milk solids production. The nut also provides optimum levels of CalMag and minerals up to a higher feeding rate, up to 6 kgs. And this provides greater flexibility um, when it comes to grass shortfalls, as this nut can be then fed at higher levels. To achieve greater yields in later lactation, action needs to be taken now. So continuously um, meeting the cow's requirements from now until end of lactation. In 100 cow herds currently producing 26 litres, uh, comparing a decline of 2.5% to a 3% decline from now until end of lactation can cost greater than 9,000 euro. So as set in the Gain Momentum program, if your target is to reach 500 kgs of milk solids, you need to be targeting 
1.82 kgs of milk solids over the next month. For more information, please contact your local GAIN representative, Glambia branch or glambiaconnect.com.